Okay, so get ready to put your math skills to work to solve this interesting little math word problem. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and read the problem. It is the following. Pour 7 eighths of a full cup out, then add back 40% of the cup. What percent of the cup still remains empty? Okay, so that is the question. Feel free to use a calculator. But if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. And then, of course, I'm going to solve this problem step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And it really is my true passion to try to make learning math as easy as possible. So if you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, so one more time with the question before I show you the answer. So we're talking about something like a cup of water. So we're going to pour 7 eighths of this full cup of water out, for example. Then we're going to add back 40% of the cup. So the question is, what percent of the cup remains empty after doing all of that? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. The correct answer is 47.5%. Okay, so how did you do? Well, if you got this right, let's go ahead and celebrate by giving you a nice little happy face and A plus, a 100% and multiple stars. So you could brag to your family that indeed you are a certified professional expert in the area of fractions and percentage. And that's really what we're uh, talking about here is how do we work with fractions and percent at the same time? Well, this is you know, pretty basic mathematics, but if you uh, were kind of confused about this, well, let's get into the solution. I think I can unconfuse you in a matter of minutes. Okay, so here is the question. And we're dealing with a math word problem. So always use the rule of three, which is read the problem at least three times before you do anything. Now, of course, you know, you read this problem one time, like, oh, I understand what's going on. But uh, you want to kind of let this problem sit into your brain, kind of like marinate there for a second, because you're going to really, you know, when you think about it, give your, your, your thinking, you know, uh, some time to kick in, just that patience, you'll come up with a good strategy to solve this problem instead of rushing the problem. And most importantly, you need to really understand what the question is asking. But uh, in this particular problem, we got a lot of things going on. We have this full cup, we're gonna pour some other cup out, then we're gonna um, add some, uh, some back in, and then we're trying to figure out how much remains empty. So when it comes to math word problems, you always want to construct a model. And uh, better yet, if we can visualize what's going on, that's going to help us see the solution. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at my model. Now, my model could be different than yours, but effectively, this is a visual interpretation of the problem. Okay, so here is my lovely cup. It is full. Then what we're going to do is we're going to pour out this full cup. But how much are we going to uh, pour out? We're going to pour out 7 eighths of that full cup. So let's just look at this fraction, 7 over 8. That's a pretty um, uh, big fraction in terms of uh, you know, this is a large number relative to a fraction. Matter of fact, that is uh, kind of confusing. Let me just uh, state it this way. What is more, 1 8 or 7 8 of a cup? Okay. Now, this is 1 part out of 8. So this is, you know, of course, just 1 over 8. But this is seven parts out of uh, eight parts, which is if we have our cup right here, and we split it up in eight sections, we're going to pour out seven of, uh, uh, out of those eight sections. So this is effectively what I'm trying to say is that this is a lot of the cup. Okay, So even though we don't know the exact amount, you know, we, when we do our little sketch here, we want to try to make it reasonably accurate. So seven eighths of the cup is a good majority of the cup. So we're going to empty it out. Okay, but then we're going to add in 40% of the cup, uh, cups measure. Okay, so if that's, like, let's say, half, this would be like 40%. So, you know, you, again, when you're building a model or a sketch, try to make it somewhat reasonable. So we're going to um, add in 40%. And then after doing all of that, we're going to try to determine how much of this cup remains empty. Okay, so that is a visual interpretation of the problem. So let's go ahead and take the next step here, which 
is to figure out in percentage terms how much is 7 eighths because we can either work with fractions across the board or we can work with percent and beca uh, because the question is asking what percent of the cup remains empty it's a good idea to just convert this fraction to a percent so we could just kind of think of this in terms of a full percentage problem in other words hey we empty this cup out like 80 percent then we add 40 percent back in how much uh, uh what percent of the cup remains empty so what we're going to have to do here is um uh, figure out what percent uh, seven eighths is what percent okay so it's equivalent to what percent and to figure out that this is quite easy so anytime you want to convert or write a fraction as a percent, all we need to do is simply divide the numerator by the denominator. And of course, you can use your calculator here. So 7 over 8, or 7 divided by 8, is going to be 0.875. But this is a decimal, okay? We're not yet at a percent. So when we're converting a fraction to a dec or a uh, percentage, we have to first convert that fraction to a decimal. So now we have 0.875. Now we have to convert this uh, uh, per, uh, decimal, excuse me, to a percent. And how do we write a decimal as a percent? Easy. All we need to do is move the decimal point over two places to the right. But that really means that we multiply by 100. So when you're converting a decimal to a percent, just multiply by 100. But effectively, that's the same thing as moving the decimal point over two places to the right. And finally, after doing all of that, we end up with 87.5 percent okay so this is how much of the cup we emptied out 87.5 percent but how much remains well we have to take this away from a full cup or 100 percent of the cup which would be full so we emptied out 87.5 percent that leaves us with 12.5 percent okay so that is step one we poured out seven eighths of this cup or 87.5 percent of the cup and now we still have 12 0.5% remaining. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is deal with this 40%. Now, at this point, we emptied out 7 eighths of the cup, so we still have 12.5% remaining. And then we're going to add back in 40% of the cup. So this would be, this amount right here, for example, would be 40%, but we're going to add it on top of this 12.5%, so 40 plus 12.5% uh, is 52.5%. Okay, so that's how much is in the cup at this stage. And the question is, what percent of the cup remains empty? So we're looking for this right here. And of course, a lot of you are saying, oh, this is super easy. I know exactly how to do that. Well, let's go ahead and do that. But first, let's do this. And that is have you subscribe to my YouTube channel. I need your support. I've been on uh, YouTube for 10 plus years. I have over 2,000 plus videos. And although I have like 514,000 subscribers and I don't even know how many views at this time, it's well over 60 million views. It's a crazy amount of people that I've reached. But every single person that watches my video, I try to you know view them as a student. I don't want to waste anybody's time. And I know we're wasting a little bit of time uh, here. But this is the kind of support I need in order to reach more people and just create as much, uh, you know, valuable or, um, you know, worthwhile content on YouTube. So all you have to do is hit that subscribe button. And if you're going to do that, hit that notification bell as well. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, I have all this content, but I have basic math to advanced math, like calculus and everything in between. So if you're interested in any particular subject, geometry, uh, trigonometry, I have uh, you know videos on a wide range of stuff. By the way, I have links to my main courses in the description if you need assistance in a specific kind of um, you know topic like or subject like algebra, geometry, pre-calculus, etc. Okay, so thanks for listening to my little commercial. Let's move back to the problem. And now this is going to be quite easy because after figuring everything um, out, we um, have discovered after adding that 40% back into the cup uh, we are at 52.5 percent full but the question is what percent of the cup remains empty well we're going to have to subtract a hundred percent because a hundred percent is a full cup but we have this much full so we have to subtract this amount that we currently have 52.5 percent from the 100 percent and we have 47.5 percent empty okay 
Now, it's much easier to do a problem like this when you have kind of a visual model, uh, you know, kind of to see the problem in action. That's why it's, you know, really important that you get comfortable sketching a little figure out. You know, you don't have to be a perfect artist, but try to make your... Um, your, your models, your diagrams, your sketch, reasonably accurate, okay? And of course, you'll get better uh, with this in time. Now, some of the concepts that we worked with in this particular problem are fractions, uh, of course, uh, percentage. These are absolute must-know skills in mathematics. Now, if you've been away from math for a while, if you need help in basic mathematics, I have two specific suggestions for you. Well, first of all, let me just say I have a ton of videos on my YouTube channel on all these uh, uh, topics, fractions, percent, and uh, I actually have a lot of uh, my videos are in basic mathematics. But if you want like my best instruction, check out two of my courses. For those of you that just want to focus on basic math, check out my Math Foundations course. It is a little math boot camp, three chapter mini course, uh, all basic mathematics, uh, basic math operations, order of operations, percent, fractions, etc. Now, if some of you want to move beyond that, if you're like, oh, I forgot all this math, but I'd like to learn uh, more math beyond basic math, then check out my new course. It is my Math Skills Rebuilder course. I'm really proud of this course because a lot of people are taking advantage of it, and I try to design it for a uh, particular uh, need out there, and that's for those of you that maybe want to rebuild your math uh, skills, and maybe you um, you know knew a lot of advanced math in school, but you know if you've been away for something for 10, 20, 30, 40 years, you know you need to kind of go back and brush up uh, on those fundamentals. So I start off with basic math, and I teach you a ton of algebra, a ton of geometry, even some basic trigonometry, and some probability and statistics. This is a, a very comprehensive, self-paced course. So that is a, another good option for those of you that are motivated to maybe kind of you know, jump back in and learn some math again. Okay, so you'll find links to all those courses in the description, but hopefully this little video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.